Good morning and welcome back to episode 6 of Vlogmas. Uh, so today I haven't done that much. I have been picking up some items from Vintage Fever uh, and other than that I have done some admin work and as I said in the previous one uh, today was going to be a chill day at home where I don't do anything uh, so therefore I have decided not to film the advent calendar today and probably do it on Friday. Uh, so today I'm going to just focus on vlogging for you guys and do some admin work and rest a little bit because I have some hectic days ahead of me because tomorrow I'm going to my doctor and I'm also going straight from my doctor to Hermes to see if I want a bag or not. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I am still in shock and I don't think it is real. And also I'm going to have some friends over on Saturday and on Friday I'm thinking about filming the advent calendar uh, because I have left to film 14 days uh, so it's going to take quite some time but I'm planning to do my makeup and since I have picked up some things from Vintage Fever I am going to show you guys that and also I'm going to unbox the advent calendar on camera today that my boyfriend gave me and also I'm going to unbox the thing that I got from Loewe and I will probably talk about some skincare because I have gotten quite a few questions about skincare and also makeup uh, so yeah I think that's what I'm going to talk a little bit about today so let's do my skincare routine I'm swapping a little bit when it comes to skincare uh, between products so the cleanser that I'm currently using now for daytime and after my oil cleanse in the evening is the Dior Snow cleanser. It smells beautiful and it is so good. Um, so that's the cleanser that I'm currently using. So now I have washed my face and after that I start with this one. This is something that I not swap out when it comes to my skincare routine. I love putting a mist after I have cleansed my skin and then toner and I'm currently using this one this is from Dior and it is the Capture Total after that I go in with my Dior eye serum because I don't like eye cream in the daytime when I'm doing my makeup because it can crease a little bit so therefore this one is perfect and also the applicator is so good and then I go in with my Estee Lauder serum this is called advanced night repair but they also said that it could be used in the daytime just a few drops after that i like to go in with this vitamin c serum from typology and the last serum that i use in the daytime currently is this uh, beauty of johnson uh, this is the glow serum so it gives me a gorgeous glow after that it's time for day cream so this is from estee lauder this is a youth power cream and it's a very good day cream and I will link everything below so you can check them out if you want to and some of these products are gifted I just have to mention that but I really like them so it doesn't affect my opinion about it and lastly I use my uh, Beauty of Johnson sunscreen this is in SPF 50 and also with rice and probiotics so it's supposed to be very good for your skin since I did brow lamination on my brows I need to use a conditioner for my brows so the one that I have is HD brows and that's the one that I have always used and it's very good because I feel that you also set your brows a little bit when you apply it especially for the days when you are not wearing makeup and I also applied this one for a short while ago and this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is my holy grail when it comes to primers. I think this one doesn't make my skin oily and my makeup is really uh, sticking to my face when I use this one. And so for my foundation I use this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one and I have it in the color 1. And this is the only foundation that I really really like because it is not too sheer but it is not too 
full coverage either. And concealer, I also use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is also the Beautiful Skin uh, series. And I use the shade One Fair. So I'm actually starting with concealer. This is actually from Real Techniques. The one that I used before was the original Beauty Blender. I really like it. So now I have applied the foundation and the concealer and as you can see it's not that noticeable. It's very natural. Over to contour I used the Fenty Matchstick and this is the shade Amber. And quite recently I have started to blend it with a brush. So this is also from Real Techniques. And over to bronzer this is my all time favorite. This is Warm Bronze from Dior. And as you can see I have used it quite a lot. And I think this one is the second one that I have purchased. And for blush I'm using my Dior blush. This has been my favorite all autumn and it's just a perfect shade of uh, blush. Uh, and it is the rosy glow in the shade Mahogany. And it looks very intimidating because it is almost black kind of color. Uh, but when we put it on, it is so beautiful. Uh, so that's the one that I'm obsessed with now. Even though I have so many blushes, this is the one that I'm grabbing for the most. And on my eyes, I am obsessed with using my Glow Palette from Dior. And I use the darkest shade on my eyelids. And this is just to give my eyes a little bit pop and depth. And after that, I go in with a fluffy brush. This is from Real Techniques once again. <laughs> and then I just blend it out. I go in with a little bit of setting powder. I use the Prisma Libre powder that I got yesterday. And this is one of my favorite products currently. And it is from Real Techniques. And as you can see here, it's a beauty blender material here. And on this side you have this powder puff. And it's perfect for setting powder and to use underneath your eyes and yeah. It's just a dark brown gel uh, and since I have my eyebrows laminated I just like to fill them in a little bit with this one and then I go in with one of my favorite products this is from Chanel and it is the glow stick I think it is called uh, this is in the transparent color uh, and I use it here and I put a little bit on my finger and then I use it here and I use just a beauty blender to blend it a little bit. This is the blending beauty blender. So it's a little bit like velvety type of material. And setting spray, this is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the airbrush flawless setting spray. So time to curl my lashes. This is from Dior and then I just curl them. And the mascara that I'm currently using is from Clinique. This is the High Impact High Fee Volume Mascara. And I really like it. I think it's very natural. It isn't like a typical mascara where you can see obviously that it is mascara on. A little bit of dry shampoo and texturing spray. This is from Orenco Blue. And this one is from The Every and scent on this one it's fantastic i really really love it and this is one of the first spray dry shampoos that i have ever liked because this one is invisible so you cannot see the white cast or anything that you would normally get from a dry shampoo and here we can see the result no white cast or anything i I'm so obsessed. And a little bit of texturing spray. First lipstick. <laughs> this one is from Clinique. And it's the Black Honey. And it's so beautiful. So therefore I needed to apply this one. Uh, but yeah. So now let's unbox some of the things that I bought yesterday. Um, what should we start with first? Should we start with Vintage Fever or... Loewe and Chanel. Let's do Vintage Fever. I have gotten four things from them that I have on loan. This is not 
given or anything it is kindly loaned by the store so it's not sponsored one we can start with is one of the things that i think you will be most shocked about this is a norwegian site where you can buy vintage bags for a very good price here is a sneak peek of the first bag and as you can see it's not my usual style but i think it is very cool uh, and especially for Christmas because it is a gorgeous single flap and it is in gold with gold hardware. It is called the Ice Cube Bag and I think it was released in 2000 or 2001 or something early in the 2000s. It just caught my eye because I think it is such a cool bag and as we know uh, Metallic is doing a little bit of comeback. So therefore I thought it would be fun to just have this for a certain amount of time and try it out to see if I can style something or pull something of this kind off. <laughs> um, but let's open it up, the usual turn lock. And here you can see inside it, it's also cold inside. And the next thing that I have on loan is in this box and it is a Chanel brooch. This is with black rhinestones. This is just to see if a brooch is something that I would use because I have considered it many times to buy a brooch, especially the one from Nueve, but also the ones from Chanel. I think they are very cool, especially on sweaters like this one or on my blazer, coat, and even on a hat. So therefore I wanted to try and see if it's something that I would use. And I think it is very elegant and cute. And this is the largest item <laughs> of this unboxing. It is something that I really, really liked when I saw it. So this one is from Celine. And it has this gorgeous Celine monogram. And also I really like the details on the handles with this hardware. And I think it is just a perfect piece to travel with. And to be honest, I actually like this one better than the Keepol because I'm not a big fan of the monogram that Louis Vuitton has or the Damier design. I think this one is more understated and classic. Um, so yeah. And lastly, we have a bag that I haven't pulled the trigger on yet, but I wanted to try it before I bought it because as you might know, I am a fan of Chanel, but I haven't bought any bags lately from them because I feel that the price increases are way too high for what the quality is and also the quality issues with Chanel. Um, and I feel it's much better to buy an Hermes bag for that price that Chanel has now because it's around the same price like a Birkin. And I feel that the quality and the craftsmanship and everything is better at Hermes. So therefore I haven't pulled the trigger on a specific bag from Chanel yet. But I know that I will be not satisfied with my bag collection if I don't own it at some point. Because it was one of my dream bags when I was a little child. And it's still one of my holy grail bags. But when it comes to prioritizing, I prioritize Hermes over Chanel at this point. The bag that I am renting now is a classic flap. This is in black with gold hardware and this is vintage. As you can see, it's not that puffy. Uh, so it's gold plated, but it still looks very good to me. And now I can finally try to see if a classic flap is something that I really, really want in my collection. And if so, I am considering buying it new, even though the price increases and everything. But it is a bag that has been on my wish list for a long time and someday I think I will pull the trigger on it. Now I will know how life with a classic flap would be if it works for me. Uh, I have tried it on several times in the store and I know that the chain is a little bit short for me to wear crossbody because it falls weirdly on my chest so I don't think it's going to be a crossbody bag for me unfortunately but at least a shoulder or a handheld bag so that was the classic flap and i think i will wear it 
as soon as possible <laughs> because I cannot wait. So that was the bags that I have on loan from Vintage Fever and I will also leave a link below so you can check out the website if you want to. Over to the things that I bought yesterday. I only bought one thing from Loewe and my boyfriend did buy something from Chanel uh, which is today's advent calendar for me. Uh, but I was with him in the store so I know what he bought. <laughs> But it was something that I have been searching for for a long time and I was going to buy it either way. Uh, but let's start with Loewe because it's something very exciting there as well. And the bag is very misleading because it is very big. <laughs> but the thing that I bought isn't that big. But I did get a book from them. So I did get this one. Everybody who was on the event was given this one. Uh, or they could take it if they wanted to. But the thing that I actually bought, <laughs> and now you can see how misleading the bag is because it's very misleading. Here is the thing that I bought. <laughs> but I think he gave me that bag because it's a very nice design and the bag is very nice. Uh, but the thing that I bought is here. I don't think you can see it. It says oregano and it is a candle <laughs> and I just had to get this one because it's so cool. And here is the Loewe logo and it smells very herbal and fresh. It's a very good scent. And over to my advent calendar for today. She wrapped it nicely so I also have the wrapping and everything. So I got some different testers from her as well. That was so nice because in Oslo they usually not have testers or anything at Chanel. Uh, so I was pretty surprised that they actually had one or multiple. And the last freebie that I got is this one. And I was so excited when she said that she had one. I didn't expect them to have this at all. <laughs> but this is but here it is and I really really like it and it is just the cutest thing ever. Here you can see the Chanel number no. 5 bottle and you can also see the CC logo here with a lot of packages and it's so cute. I will put it on my tree after this. Now over to my package. So here is the one that I got. <laughs> And I also got this one. This is the bottle. I have the CC from before. So let's open it up. And the thing that I got is the Le Lift. This is the eye patches that I have been searching for for two years now. And finally they had them in stock. <laughs> and I have tried in Paris. I have tried on the website. I have tried everywhere to look for these patches, but they don't have them. So now finally it was my time to get them because they are so aesthetic and cool and it's something that I really, really like. So here is the patches and also the uh, serum, I think it is. And I think it comes with 10 eye patches and the price was around 150 US dollars. So it's a little bit expensive, but if you live in Oslo or nearby and you want this, run to Chanel <laughs> because they have them in stock now. And I don't think they have that many in stock. It's a very great gift also if you want to give something a little bit expensive to somebody. So that was my advent calendar for today. It's a very nice day of the advent calendar and I'm so grateful for it. And now I'm going to make some dinner and, and probably rest for the rest of the day and film a little bit clips here and there. That was my haul. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Malin and I do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion, handbags and shoes. So if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So yeah, now I'm going to go and cook some dinner.
So now it is some couple of hours later and I have just been finishing editing this vlog and I just have to put this one on the vlog <laughs> and then I'm done with today's vlogmas episode but thank you so much for watching this episode of vlogmas and also let me know if there are anything that you would like to see I really appreciate it and yeah thank you so much again and if you're not done watching me yet here is another video and goodbye <laughs>